Hey guys, this is Jen. I'm working with the Hungry JPEG and Craft Bundles to show you guys how to use Canvas, sure cuts a lot, and those programs with our scan and cut. All right, so let's get busy. If you have not yet viewed the how to unzip the Craft Bundles file, please do that now. All right, so let's come in and find our huge holiday craft bundle. This project is going to be working on a glass block. I come into all compile graphics and my SVG. Understand, if you have not heard me say it before, I have a brilliant thumbnailer, which allows me to see all of these files. All right, I'm looking for the reindeer one. I have a feeling I probably just blasted past it. But at least, oh, nope, there it is. It's the same. It gives you a chance to see all that cool stuff. Okay, I know I have measured my glass block at six and a half by six and a half, even though it says it's, a, it's, ugh, it's an eight inch block. Okay. All right, so let me see here. I want this in a different color. Now, I did not touch anything. I did not ungroup or anything because the cool person that made this file understands that we may need to break that apart or separate it to make different colors. So if I want this in red or green, ah, yes, very good. I need it in a different color. But first, shouldn't I resize this? Exactly. So I need to put this back together resize this as a whole largest up here being 6.5 inches all right now i can go in here and start pulling stuff apart so i'm going to stick this right here i'm going to pull this over here i'm going to yank this down here okay and this and this are going to be the same color. And yes, I put my stuff closely together. Um, I did the video where uh, I did the canvas piece and I did not. And you've seen kind of that waste. That is what you can avoid by doing it this way. So I'm doing things kind of differently in each video because I want to show you the differences. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna move that one up there and this one up here. Don't be afraid to try things. All right, so this is going to be, let's say red. This is going to be blue. This is gonna be green, whatever it may be. Each square represents a different color. And that is how I want it to cut, okay? This now is ready to be exported to my stick. Export. Whoa. Let's come up here and find my stick. There it is. I change all of my files to FCMs. And we're going to do glass block. Enter. And there we go. That file is completely made and done. All right. Now I'm going to go over. We're going to flop over for the people in Canvas. Okay. For those of us using Canvas, Choose your file. Let's go find that really cute reindeer again. I always fly past up. Come on. Double click. I do not click bulb. I think this computer is best today. Right here. <laughs> this one. There we go. Okay. Hmm. You've seen how small this pulled into sure cuts a lot when I just had it open. Now it's telling me it was too large. Okay, oops, and now each letter is also individual. 
So we're going to have to come in here and group each letter. So be very careful. And move this one out of the way. Oh, wait. I forgot I have to resize this. So let's go get everything. I don't know why that key is sitting there. So what I did was I highlighted everything. I came up here to edit and I clicked group. Okay. Then I came to this little box right here, which is the properties box. Then in the box here with the biggest number, I went in. And I added 6.5 because that is the measurement of my glass block. Then I click the enter button. Make sure you have maintain aspect ratio ticked. That will keep it the same. Oops. Now I need to come to edit and click ungroup so that I can go after each word. Okay. So let's bring this down here. And we're going to go back to using our grid again. Okay, and this one I just want to come straight across. Don't go up or down or, uh, got to get the deer out of here first. Grumbly grumbly is me sometimes when I'm in campus. Okay, so I have wonderful and all the other ones are still separate. Are not joined in here. Okay, so I have put those there. I might flop the wonderful in the year around. So now I'm going to grab this one. Edit. Group that one. Edit. Group that one. Okay, so now I can move this as a whole. Except for that. Oops. You didn't quite capture that. There we go. Now I did. Group that too. It's kind of important to be grammatically correct. Alright. So let's bring this little guy over here too. Oops. I see the little eye. There we go. That's what causes people heartaches. Sometimes they move it off the page and then they leave that little eye dot over there because it's so hard to see. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Okay, so yeah, I am going to flip-flop these around. I want the bigger letters on the bottom. That'll waste less vinyl. Okay, and then for those that want are wondering about weeding boxes, I will show you how to do that. And this may look like a hot mess, but this is how you add a weeding box. Okay, so you can snug it up here. Pull this down. I'm going to actually pull both of these down. Sorry, I don't want the box. Let me group this. I'll pull it away so my box has a little bit of space at the top there. I don't want it running into the actual letters. Avoiding the red mark. Okay. And let's do the same for this one. Edit, group. Let's pull both of these up and away so we can put our shape in there. And don't worry about running into the red line. Come on. Okay, and this is what is a weeding box. 
Whoops, go back, go back. Stretch it out. Okay. All right, see how that is and that is? Let's add another little guy around the little reindeer. Just be careful you don't cross those red lines. And also be careful that you're not marking the shape either. All right, so that looks good. Let's do, oops, canvas glass. Now understand, when you transfer this stuff, you can either use a USB stick, which is universal across all machines, or with the scan and cut twos, and only the twos, and the UK version 300, you can use the cord. With the scan and cut twos, you can also use Wi-Fi. Okay? I'm choosing to use the stick because the stick is the universal transfer method, okay? All right, so there we go with the file creation in both Surecuts sure a lot for regular and Canvas. Uh, please tune to part two of the glass block making with craft bundles. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions on this, you can ask here. Or you can also find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thank you.